Hi folks, it's Rich here. Good morning. So, here's a new box. And I was about to get ready to go for work. This was supposed to be delivered to a pickup point and it just went ding dong and it was at the front door. Great, well done DHL. No, not, it's not their fault, is it? It was Fair Deal Music, who I bought this from. But, doesn't matter, we're here. Sorry about the lighting, because the sun is beaming through the window. Here in the UK, we're due for another heat wave, apparently, in August. But it's warm this morning. Anyway, 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 anyway. So, why did I get this? Why did I get this? Well, I've seen slicks a few times. Not too keen on the headstock, but um, they're a bit different, aren't they? They're interesting. Interesting. Something different. And this was used, and it was £80. Probably wrap. Oh look, we've got two boxes. Double box. Wow. Uh, uh. Timber. Um, yeah, it was eighty pounds. It's a. It's different to what I've got. It's got single coils. I thought let's give it a whirl. Why not? So that's what we're doing. I'd be interested to hear from anyone else. Have you got a slick? What do you think of your slick? Uh, right, let's get out of this here box, shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very well packaged. We approve of this. More bubbles. More bubbles. A lot more bubbles. I uh, don't want to hold it there because I'm going to get spiked by a string. Oop. Don't drop it. More bubbles. Wow, that is for a used guitar. Do you know who the, the most useless guitar shop is, in my experience, for packaging? In particular, used guitars. And the tons. I'm amazed that they arrive in one piece. Terrible. Mind you, Reedies. I had my uh, Epiphone modern figure from Reedies, and that came only in the single box that it comes in. And it only had two pieces of tape holding it together. So maybe, so arguably, that was the worst. Although, miraculously, it wasn't damaged. Albeit the guitar had problem. Anyway, I can't say, shut up, Rich. Just open, just get, pop, 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 pop. Get, get inside and let's have a look. Let's get a bit closer. Jesus, that's pretty heavy. Look at this. Whoa. That is wild. Still got the cellophane on the cavity at the back. This is some is Indian rosewood, is what it describes itself as on that fretboard. It's actually, it's kind of cherry colored. I have had rosewood like this before on the guitar, it, it's somewhere between the darker rosewood you're more familiar with and Pau Ferro looking. It's all in between the stock. There's the back, You've got the slick logo. I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the specs in a second, which is amazing really for the money. Interesting. So, it's a swamp ash body and you can feel all the grainy stuff. It's a very tactile feeling guitar, you can feel the grain. This is real brass billet. It's a wrap round bridge, not a string through look. A wrap round bridge, proper brass billet, as is the knob, which is a tone, well, it's stiff. Too stiff, really. I don't matter. Little brass but knob on here. You've got, I love how, look at the, how that, the cup is wound, can you see that? String in there, old school. 9.6K there, 5.6 on the neck. And they're Slick's proprietary pickups. It's medium jumbo frets. Now this is a used guitar, and those frets are, are they worn? They're a little bit actually, well, especially that first one. It's worn a lot. It's a little bit naughty, should have said. Uh, According to the specs, you get a graphite nut on these. According to Phil McKnight, it's plastic. 
you've got brass tuning buttons and it's a 14 degree head tilt back lock so there are no string trees not a string tree in sight so a 12 inch radius did i say that any sharp frets nope nope frets are good these strings look a bit sad and old made in china right should we give it a quick plug in and then i must go to work <laughs> uh, uh, leaving that here even the uh, strap buttons are brass phil mcknight says brass look not real brass no not too sure about that it's hard to know isn't it if they've gone to the trouble of having actual brass everywhere else i suppose it's still a cost saving on the strap buttons but i don't know maybe they would just keep brass everywhere who knows because it doesn't it doesn't look, i mean it's not they're not tarnished it doesn't look like they're worn so anyway plug in Oop, amplifier on quick tune with my actual tuner i've got a tuner proper tuner go me that's in tune so is that D is slightly off Come on tuner, wake up, why can't you hear me? Okay, good It's in tune <laughs> on the clean channel. With the volume all the way up. Don't want the delay, excuse me delay. And let's put the treble, mid and bass all in the middle as well. Sounds a bit dud. What's out of tune? Warming down a little bit. Cleans up. Does. Sustains well. Just 
Simple than none of it. Leave the drive. Yo. Soz. <laughs> Super quick first impressions. How do you do that? I'm going to say that's in the high three kilos, like 3.8 or something, probably. That is a chunky old dude. But first impressions on the pickups, and this is what I'd heard on and looked on the reviews on them, is they are pretty hot and spanky banky. But that's not a bad thing, that's what you're after. So, yeah, first impressions, Mr. Slick. These are never in stock, apparently. <laughs> They're really hard to get hold of. Is uh, I really like it. I love the look, I love the feel. And it's actually set up well. I never fucking think about that. One of the good things about second hand, I suppose, is someone's done that for you. Great, yeah, loving it. 